Hey guys, today I thought I would uh, show off a little bit of my sidebar gadgets and I will be releasing them sometime soon. Um, I have been modifying sidebar gadgets for a long time. I just haven't really told anybody about them. Normally you don't see them on my desktop because I normally have a second monitor and that's where they normally sit. So I thought I would uh, show them off and uh, I did a lot of updates to quite a few of them. And, um, I was thinking of sharing them because I take a look and I see in the gadget section um, they got garbage in here like like this useless they're all useless okay this right here I have on one dock this right here I have on that same dock um, this I have on that dock and I have this on that dock I have this on that dock See, so far there's uh, five of them that are located in here that I have on one sidebar gadget. Now, I'll show it to you. Um, this is all they got. This is Microsoft's gadgets, and they all suck, every single one of them. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys mine. Here's the most updated one, as you can see. We got CPU. We got RAM. CE drive, this shows your drives, this shows your network, your recycling bin. It is ready for uh, radio. I do keep this thing updated, so I will make a website just for the docs. And I'll put the link down in the description, and you guys can chat and download these uh, sidebar gadgets and all that beautiful stuff. So it'll tell you how long your computer's been on for. Mine so far has been on for 9 hours, 10 minutes, and... Well, 11 minutes now. <laughs> system control, shut down, restart, lock system, sleep. So these are some of the options that are in here. Over here, you can able or disable your network card. So you can choose what you want. Um, your delay. Wi-Fi details. This here is useless to me because I'm running a powerhouse. So, But you can see right here, it says status not connected. My IP will be blocked in this video. Um, it just shows you plugged in, obviously, so it's quite useless for that part. So we're going to remove this. We can even change um, stations if you want to sit here and listen to music. The best one so far is the Hits channel. I am still working on a few of these, so some of them may not work at the moment. Um, they're extremely hard to find uh, actual channels to play through the net. Obviously, um, check for updates. It'll obviously bring you to my website. From here, eventually, I'm just going to rebuild this whole entire page where you can choose location spots from there. So, um, music. <laughs> I'm not going to continue playing that because, yeah, you know how it's like. So there's the computer status. I, these are another view that I got. This wasn't created by me, but I had to rebuild it to get it to work. Um, it was broken before and it wouldn't work, so I had to rebuild it. So I decided I would just put my name on it. I have did a little bit of thumbnail work here. Um, the notes are still the same. Nothing new there. For the volume control, is right here. When you first start it up, you will get this. It's because there's no theme. So, you need to choose a background. So we can choose red, blue, green, purple, White um, isn't working at this second. I'm still working with it. As you can see, the text disappears. So, we'll leave that out for now. So, and then this is honestly basic dark, but I like my red. So, I like all my gadgets looking the same. Now, we actually have a weather, uh, weather one right here. So, this one here is actually built by the weather network, but I rebuilt it to basically follow all the sidebar gadgets to make sure that they all look the same because we all know 
looking at random sidebar gadgets, different colors, different everything, looks really, really bad on your desktop. It's really not great. You want matching ones. Matching is always better. So here you can do English. Uh, this is the default when you first start up. I kind of screwed up something in my code, so which is all right. It doesn't matter. You can just switch it to English. Metric is uh, Celsius. This one's Fahrenheit. This you don't need to worry about. All you have to do is find your city. So, like, for example, mine is. Oops. Grand Prairie. So, this would. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> this would be mine. That's it. You hit OK. And you can check for updates right here, too, for the modded version. So, when we open this up, this is what it looks like so far. This will be removed one day, but I'm not going to do that because this one here is not mine, so I can't play with it too much. I can only change the theme. I want to make sure that it's legal enough that uh, I can't get nailed for it. So, In their writing, in their codes, they said that you cannot use the codes on something else, so I cannot put this and put it in here. But they didn't say nothing about changing the theme, so that part we got. These ones I still need to update, but as you can see, they're all matching. It's perfect. Don't you agree? All matching. Doesn't anybody like match? These two that I got sitting here will be uh, remodified too to match all these. Doesn't that look better though for sidebar gadgets? Like, look at it. It's matching. It doesn't get any better than that. But, anyways, I got a ton of sidebar gadgets that are very useful. And, like I said, I'm going to make a website page where you can get all these. And uh, I'm not, I'll make sure that they stay updated. So, in further use of Windows in the uh, future that you can still use them. We all we all like sidebar gadgets. A lot of us do. But there's really none that are out there that are good enough. So um, that's why I built this. This is why I, I like it like this. Um, as an example, the one on the top there it gives you your CPU, your RAM, your hard drives, your network, your battery, your recycling bin. Radio system up time system controls it gives you your date and time. I'm talking about that. The date and time also has a calendar inside it, although it's quite useless because your Windows has got that too. And then a clock down below, but it's still there. Um, it's an option. Eventually, in newer updates, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this volume control, top five processes. And those are all going to go with this. So, one sidebar gadget runs everything. You only need to do one install. But I'm not doing that now because that's further updates. So, um, I still got a few I got to do here and um, get all that stuff done. But, like I mentioned, um, I got a few that's rebuilt right here that are all ready to go. So I'm going to build that web page and I'll put the link down below for the web page. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to put these gadgets up there. Write comments, rate, subscribe, and let me know what you think. See if I wasted my time. I don't think I did. I, I really like what I did here. It's worth it and hope you guys think the same. Have yourself a great day.